want to become filthy, stinking, absolutely rich this cycle in 2025? Well, my friends, if you want to, then stay tuned. If you don't want to, hasta la vista, baby. Nah, I'm just kidding. Anyways, what's up? Welcome back to the Crypto Bliss channel. Thank you for being here with me today. I am pumping here with videos out for you guys. So I hope you enjoy this one. I've got some pretty darn awesome videos coming out for you over the next couple days. So make sure to hit that notification bell. Let's not waste another single second on the boring intros. Let's get right into it. Today we're going to be speaking about none other than GFL, my friends. Games for a living. Who's been wanting to speak about this baby for some time? Well, my friends, I, oh, I bought some bags down here. I sold some, I think it was down here, okay? And then, yeah, I've just sold some other crypto, rebalanced my portfolio, and I just bought $100, just a small $100 of, of this GFL back down here. I should actually put like 1000 to $2,000, but let's go and have a look at some of these numbers, and let's see what this project can do for us. Today, it's sitting at 1,108 on the ranking. It's up 3.4%. It seems to be one of the only ones in the crypto space that right, uh, right now that is pumping while Bitcoin is dumping. We're currently sitting at about just over a $19 million market cap, 122 million fully diluted valuation. Trading volume is a little bit small, but the circulating supply of one and a half million, the total and max supply are about 10 billion. So it's a good coin. It's a Binance Smart Chain coin. It's very cool. I do love it. It's all time high was we're down from 75% at 0.4 cents. We're at 0.12 right now. And we're up 170% over the last year. Now, I did get into this coin nice and back early. And the thing about this coin is that even though it's been around for a time, it is a gaming coin. Let's go and have a look at some of their, their Twitter news and their features. Building the future, while Manal Sort is the CEO and co-founder of GFL. We'll talk about Manal Fort, uh, Sort in a short little moment, but you can see there's uh, Bilal Manek, Yamek, Yamak, uh, head of growth in GCC at The Sandbox. Well, we have people like The Sandbox coming in. You've got real ownership that happens in here. So with GFL, you can trade, sell, or even profit from your digital items. Welcome to the next level. Well, those that's for those who play the game. Of course, so you can earn mash, uh, cash in the game and then you can reinvest it in buying things and you own those assets. So the future of gaming is AI powered from creating immersive worlds to enhancing NPC or non-player characters behaviors. AI is pushing the boundaries of what is possible in game development. At GFL, we are keeping boiling with ideas for 2025. It's a sustainable Web3 gaming um, platform. Most games fade over time, but with our business model at GFL Official, games can thrive for decades. Now bear this in mind with what, what it is that I'm about to share and show you, because it's not only one game, it's gonna be multiple games. We're building systems where players own their items forever, keeping games engaging for the long run. The future of gaming is social and interconnected by introducing player ownership and trade. GFL is making gaming more engaging and social than ever before. Pretty cool, right? Throwback to when GFL made uh, waves by raising 3.3 million from legends like Supercell, Mitch Lasky. It's a reminder of just how far we've come and the excitement that lies ahead. Now, the CEO and co-founder Manal Sort okay is the former vp at activision blizzard king i'm pretty confident you know activision blizzard king is joined by legends like trip hawkins okay who is the founder of ea sports and emmy nominated javier leon all right right there who's the art director and together they're building the next gen gaming experience this team has a massive team behind it okay and you need to be knowing what's going on here. You can have real ownership. And right now, it's pretty small still in its size, including in market cap. This is the website. This is where you can come. These are the games that are available. So you can see that there are still four games available since I did my last video. I will leave it pinned up in the comments before you, uh, for you. But you can see here that there are some really, really 
amazing, amazing people here. Uh, Christian Gascons uh, with tenure at Blizzard Entertainment and Digital Chocolate. Uh, Co-founder of Frozen Shard brings a wealth of industry expertise to drive operational excellence. That's brilliant. Mark Tormo, once part of Blizzard's entertainment team and co-founder of Frozen Shard, Mark brings a wealth of creative leadership to drive innovation and brilliance. Amazing, guys. This is awesome. I don't know about you, but these guys are pumping their stuff out there in the market. You can go and check them out on their social media pages. Those are the games that they have over there. I don't know what all of that is about, but I'm not going to go there. So go check them out. For now, let's go and have a look at the chart. Or actually, let's go and first have a look at what the largest video game companies by market cap look like. So altogether, there's about $4.14 trillion. And Microsoft makes up for about $3 trillion of those dollars. Tencent at about 480 But we're expecting a bull run. We're expecting that we could see some massive, massive opportunities come into these projects over this time. We believe that the market could absolutely pump and obliterate this. Now, the difference between crypto and these companies is that these are registered companies. And I mean, these dudes have made $40 billion companies. They've made all kinds of different companies. Tencent is a massive game, Chinese gaming uh, platform and does a whole bunch of other stuff. But if we were to look at, say, 100, even if we were to look at $40 billion market cap, 1% of this entire market cap, that would maybe put this at around the electronics arts level. Do you think the guys that have come from electronics arts, okay, um, uh, like these dudes, do you think that they are not going to want to do the same thing here? Well, yes, of course they are, my friends. So even if at 1%, this is where I bought yesterday. Um, you can see there my little arrow. That's uh, you can see I can't remove the arrow, so that's real. If you want to have a look, I spent my my hundred dollars here. There's no more dollars left in this account for this, but I've spent my hundred dollars and I, I actually spent ninety seven dollars and it's now up at one hundred and one. Hence, it's busy pumping right now. Probably going to pump up to the the two hundred just up here. Um, as you can see, there will be a ton of resistance here at this level. So cool. Let it experience that. But we are not even anywhere near the all time high. And that's why I'd love to share this chart with you, because right now we're bouncing off a very significant level uh, with the stochastic RSI busy making a new higher low. And as you can see here, we are literally about to head up to this area of resistance pretty much at the top there. So just from where we are here right now and up to, or as I said, the first level of resistance gives us 55%. We then can expect that that high there about 110%. If we get up to the very heavy level of resistance up here at the blue horizontal level, that's 200%. Getting up to the all time high, that's going to give us 333% from where we are today. And my friends, this is just the beginning of this chart. I, I have a lot to share with you on this. So make, make sure you stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to the Crypto Bliss channel because I'm bringing some serious alpha to you. I have spoken about this gaming coin with you before and uh, you can see that. You can see that I have spoken about it a number of times. You guys love GFL videos here. So I hope you're enjoying it. Sandbox is part of that, of course, because the gents are from there but nonetheless let's go back and let's get back into how much we believe that this could possibly go up to in terms of market cap so currently if you bought a hundred dollars right now you're gonna get nine thousand coins if we were to hit a hundred million dollar market cap which is five odd x from where we are right now 5.5 x okay that would give us approximately a 5.7 x on our entire portfolio that's not bad. I mean, that's a hundred, hundred million dollars. What happens if we were to hit a billion dollars, my friend? Well, your hundred dollars would convert into five thousand seven hundred dollars. That's pretty decent, right? I would say so. So, what happens if we were about to hit possibly um, ten billion dollars? You would take your hundred dollars and convert a hundred dollars with a ridiculous 554x gain 
And I'm pretty confident I've showed you that this coin is like a 750x gain. If you bought it down here, I bought it, I bought it, as I said, I bought it here. I wrote some up, sold down here somewhere on the support zone. Um, and that, well, support because it crashed through um, and I exited there. And yeah, I'm, I'm buying back right now because it's a great time to buy back, as you can see here. So let's draw back here. With a major price scenario at that point of $6.33, that's pretty darn awesome, right? Well, what happens if I said to you that, you know, gave you that $40, a $40 billion market cap scenario? You would literally take $100 and convert it into $230,000, my friend. That is absolutely life-changing money. Now, I'm not saying it's going to go there, but there is a high possibility that it could, right? It would give us a $25.35 price with a 2,216x gain. I think that's very possible, my friend. And in all honesty and in all fairness, why in the crypto space would it not be able to hit a $100 billion market cap? Converting your $100 into about $570,000 with a $63.38 price, $100 billion market cap, and a ridiculous 5,540% gain. I don't know if it could. If it could, that's absolutely ridiculous and amazing. Uh, my friend, you would become absolutely wealthy off just $100. So if you spent $1,000, okay, you would literally become a millionaire, uh, no problem. Even if this thing had to do one fifth of what it's doing here. So in other words, a thousand X, okay, you would make yourself a million dollars, my friend. That's life-changing money for all of us. So if you have $90,000, you're looking at like 57 million potentially that you own of a particular stock in the crypto space. Now, isn't that juicy and tantalizing for us? I think it's a reasonable scenario to think that you could expect somewhere down the line in the next, maybe whatever, two cycles that it could hit $100 billion. Do I think it's going to hit a $100 billion this cycle? No. In this cycle, I think a 10 to $20 billion market cap would be quite reasonable, okay? If you have your $9,000 investment, you're converting $100 into $57,000. That is still very juicy and delicious. So hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, show some love, share this with some friends, and let's make some money together there, my friend. Thanks for being here. Much love. See you on the next one.